In March 2016, after an argument with her fiancé, Ben, Michelle hurriedly packs a suitcase, leaves behind a diamond ring, and departs New Orleans, Louisiana. While she is driving through rural Louisiana at night, Ben telephonies, begging her to return. The news reports of blackouts in several major cities. Suddenly, her car is struck, flipping off the road and rendering her unconscious. Michelle awakens with a leg injury while chained to a wall in a concrete room. A man named Howard enters and unchains her. She later unsuccessfully ambushes him. And he explains that there has been a massive attack, perhaps by Russians or Martians, and he had found her wreck and saved her life by bringing her to his underground bunker. He tells her that they cannot leave for one or two years because the air outside is poisoned and everyone outside is dead. Howard gives Michelle a tour of his well-stocked bunker, which also houses his construction assistant, Emmett. Through a viewport, Howard shows her his two decayed pigs outside as evidence of the fallout, but she also sees Howard's truck and regains her memory of it striking her car. She privately relays this to Emmett, who dismisses it, saying he came to the bunker voluntarily after seeing the attack happen. During dinner, Howard shows flashes of jealousy and rage and little tolerance for Emmett. Michelle steals Howard's keys and injures him while trying to leave the bunker. But before she opens the outermost door, a woman covered with lesions appears outside, screaming to be let in before committing suicide. Horrified, Michelle retreats. Howard confesses that he accidentally struck Michelle's car while in a panic to reach the bunker. Now convinced, she stitches a cut she caused to Howard, who opens up about his late daughter. The trio begins to adapt to life underground, but the air ventilation system fails after something loud passes overhead. Howard sends Michelle through a small duct to reactivate it. In the control room, she finds a padlocked skylight with help scratched on the inside and an earring she had seen in a picture Howard showed her of his daughter. She shares this with Emmett, who recognizes the girl in the picture as a local girl who had gone missing two years earlier. They decide to seek help, so Michelle begins to fashion a makeshift hazmat suit to venture outside. Howard finds some of the tools Michelle and Emmett were using for their plan and threatens to immerse them both in perchloric acid. Emmett takes responsibility, claiming he was building a weapon to use to get Howard's gun. Howard says he accepts Emmett's apology before shooting him in the face, telling a shocked Michelle that now they can finally be a family of two. Michelle finishes the suit while Howard cleans up. He discovers the suit, but she flees and is able to upend the barrel of acid onto him, which disfigures him and starts a fire. She dons the suit, traps Howard, and escapes. When she sees birds outside, she removes her gas mask. Michelle then observes a biomechanical alien craft in the distance, which flies towards her when the bunker explodes from the fire. The craft discharges a green gas, which she overcomes with her mask. She is also attacked by a quadrupedal creature and shelters from it in Howard's truck. The craft's tentacles lift the truck mid-air to reach Michelle, but she destroys it with a Molotov cocktail, causing the truck to fall back to the ground. Michelle drives off in the woman's car. A radio broadcast says humans are successfully fighting against the invaders and instructs survivors to seek safety in Baton Rouge while requesting the help of anyone with medical or combat training in Houston. Michelle heads for Houston while a larger alien craft is revealed, silhouetted by lightning. <laughs>